So we want to get all the combinations of the fruits with the sizes and the companies. So we want to get, you know, apple, small, and then one row with Bertha's uh, fine foods, and then apple, small, Mary, apple, small, Surge, all the way down, repeat it for everything in here. So all those combinations, we're not going to use any of these methods, which are all possible, but imagine you, this is for someone who's not that technical. They want step-by-step, -step, no formulas, no code, uh, and no access or, you know, SQL Server Cartesian product. So what we're going to do is create a pivot table. It's all based on a simple pivot table. First thing, though, we have to do is turn this into a table. That, at the end, will show you it makes it very easy to update the solution if you add more uh, fruits or sizes or companies. And you don't have to have the same number for each of the different categories. So that's another nice thing. So we're going to do this. Uh, I'm going to say insert table. And as long as the data touches each other somehow, there's no blank columns in there, uh, no blank rows. It selects it automatically. We'll say my table has headers. Click OK. Now we have a table. Step two, we want to create a pivot table and drop all fields in the row label area in any order or the order that's best for you. So once again, highlight anything in here. Uh, the pivot, we're going to say insert pivot table, uh, existing worksheet location. We're going to put it right there in G12. Press OK. Very quickly, just add fruit size, company, they're all in here. Now, what we want to do, is let's go to step three. We have to do a, some cleanup or some change some settings. Everything's in one column. We want it in three columns. So every combination is in a row. So with any cell selected, you see this special uh, toolbar up here. We're going to go over here to uh, design, report layout, and we are going to show in tabular form we're also going to say repeat all item labels. That is step three. Step four, we're going to turn off subtotals and grand totals. So we're still on the pivot. We still see this design, subtotals. We're going to do not show subtotals, grand totals off for rows and columns. All right, we're getting closer. Step five, uh, now this is, the this is the real interesting part of the solution. We want to say, uh, go to each of these fields and we're going to right click, go to field settings, Layout and print, we're going to just select this. Show items with no data. That's the trick to getting all these combinations. So far, we don't see anything, but watch what happens here. Right click. Uh, we are going to go back in here another time, second time, and now we're getting more rows. The third time, third and last time, because we have three fields, go in here, field settings, and in, uh, there it is. <laughs> Show items with no data. Now we're getting everything in here, and see, it's easy to forget the steps filter out blanks. All right, so let's look in here. Under each of these little uh, drop downs, we have to make sure that we do not have any blanks select. So uncheck blanks. Size, uncheck blanks. And for company, have to check each field. So there's no blanks because this is filled out for all of them. All five rows are filled out. So we press OK. Now, how do we know that we have all the combinations? You don't want to do this manually. So here is a way to, right now we want to double check the results to make sure it's working properly. So I'll just take these formulas and I will paste them over here. Very, we don't need the formulas to create everything, just to double check. So it's a simple formula that's saying how many non-blanks do I have uh, in that area. And what we should do, I should have done this like this to, to make sure it's the table getting the table field, the fruit. There we go, fruit. So now I'm just going to take that, drag it to the right, and this is now looking at how many fruits do we have, how many sizes, how many companies. So when you use the product function to multiply them, we get 40. That's how many combinations that, that there are. And over here, I'm also using the count non-blanks to look down in this area to see how many we have. There's no totals. Every, all the combinations are in a row. So we have 40 of them, and that is correct. Now, a couple of other things. What if I come in here and add, I'm just going to take this and paste it as a value. See how the table expands automatically? And now it's saying we should have 48. We only have 40. It doesn't match. So we just come back here, we right click, and we say refresh. Now there is one little tricky thing. If you were then to say, OK, we, we get more fruits than uh, companies, we have to go back. You have to go back in here and make sure that the blanks are filtered out. 
even for company you might have to go in here and make sure that the blanks are filtered out as long as those are filtered out and this number after you refresh the pivot equals this number you have all the combinations now one last thing what if someone adds small twice it's a duplicate it would mess up your results but what we can do is add a very simple conditional formatting rule go like this and we can just say uh, let's just do a new rule and we're gonna say cells that contain duplicate values right there duplicate we're gonna make that red and we're gonna make the font white and we should now let's do that click OK click OK again and apply it so now if we have duplicates it's in red let's just use the format painter go over here and we'll use that one last time for the company so I'm gonna put an apple a second time does it work yes it does so our results are wrong but then you know in a big list it could be a bit confusing let's get rid of apple let's get rid of small 48 combinations we have 48 rows in the pivot table so I think that's it all the steps and ways to double check